This is a short presentation outlining how your child is going to pick their year 10 options and what you can do to support them through this process. On the 9th of March is the Year 9 Parents' Evening. Please use this opportunity to ask lots of questions and find out more about the subjects and your child's suitability for those subjects. On the 14th of March, there is an additional optional guidance meeting. You will be sent an invite to make an appointment for this meeting to ask more questions with a senior member of staff if you require it. The most important deadline is the 16th of March. This is the day that your child will need to get their options form to their form tutor. During April, uh, we will meet with your child if there are any reasons why their first choices are not possible. So this could be a clash, or it could be that the subject is oversubscribed, or possibly that there are uh, too few students to run the course. In May, we will send a letter that confirms the option choices. And in June, we will allow a three day window where your child can change their mind, they can change their options. And if there is space available, we will allow them to switch. And then from July, a final confirmatory letter will be sent. And from that point onwards, your child will not be able to make any further changes. All students are required to do five compulsory subjects. These are English Literature, English Language, Mathematics and two Sciences. Now this is a combined science, so we'll still include Biology, Chemistry and Physics, but it will only be worth two GCSEs. Your child will be placed in a band and this is decided according to their Key Stage 2 data, um, so the exams they did in primary school and also their recent data harvest. The vast majority of students will be in band three. If you're in band three, your child will need to do French. They can then pick geography or history, and then they have a further two free options. So for example, could pick separate science and sociology or um, food and design and technology. It's up to them. If your child is in band two, we will ask them to do a BTEC or Cambridge National. This is a vocational course in either business enterprise, digital information technology, or sports studies. And then after that point, they get a further three free options. And if your child is in band one, we will give them additional literacy support or potentially um, other support, study support as well. And then they need to pick a vocational course, BTEC or Cambridge National, and they have a further two options that they will be allowed to pick. When your child is completing their options form, they'll be asked to fill in six options with number five and number six just being backup options. If a subject is oversubscribed, we will just pick students at random that will be able to do that course. There are some selected subjects where we would take into account their recent data harvest. For example, for separate science, we will pick the top 60 students that are the strongest performing in science. There may also be some examples where there are too few students for a course to run. If your child cannot get their first options, we will meet with them and make sure they are happy with the alternative choices. We understand that this can be a really difficult decision for some children. The advice from the school is just pick subjects that you really enjoy, pick subjects that you think you will excel in, and if you know your chosen career, that should be taken into account. For example, if you really want to go into computing, then we would advise you to do computer science GCSE. Your child will be receiving guidance from their class teachers and also their form tutors. Please also make an appointment with a senior member of staff on the 14th of March if you would like some further guidance. Further information will be sent out at the beginning of March to allow you to make that appointment. 
Both you and your child have been sent full details of every single subject in an options booklet as well. This also provides links to the specification so that you can look together to see what is on the course. We very much hope that your child will enjoy this opportunity and be excited to make decisions about their own learning for year 10 and year 11. Just a recap of that really important date, the 16th of March is the date that they need to get their options forms to their form tutors. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch with the school and we will offer further support.